I'm making another batch of wraps today, but unlike last time, we're making these ones out of spaghetti squash. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is split our spaghetti squash in half and scoop out all of the pulp and seeds on the inside. And so we're gonna get both of our spaghetti squash into our baking pan. And if your spaghetti squash is quite large, you may need to use a baking sheet or you might need to use two pans to be able to fit uh, enough spaghetti squash. In this case, I have two very small spaghetti squash and they should both fit in this one pan. Okay, and with both of my squash cleaned, I'm going to pour just enough water into my pan that all the edges of the squash are sealed or covered so that there's no exposed air to the inside of the squash. And then we're going to place this into a 375 degree oven for about 45 minutes to one hour until the inside of the flesh is easily scraped away from the skin. You can know that these are done is you can use a knife and just uh, pierce the skin. And if it goes in easily and the skin is the toughest part, then you know it's done. All right, so these were in the oven for about 45 minutes. And again, they were they, these are really small squash, so they cooked fairly quickly. And uh, once they've cooled enough to handle, just going to use a fork and scrape the inside. And you can see how it pulls away from the skin on the outside. So we're going to strip the flesh out of the squash and pop it into a bowl to cool a little bit more and then we're going to squeeze it out. So we've got almost two pounds worth of spaghetti squash and now I'm going to squeeze out the water. So there you go, almost a cup of water. Wow, that's about as close to a cup as you can get. So that's not too bad. Alright, so like last time I've got our spaghetti squash, a cup of cheese, a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of taco seasoning, and two teaspoons of dried cilantro. So we're gonna mix this up and we'll form our tortillas and we'll pop them into the oven. All right, so my oven is just finishing its preheat and I'm about to pop these in, but my first observation is that it's a lot easier to spread out in a circle and get them nice and thin because of the strands rather than just being diced up cauliflower. And I think what it's going to result in is a wrap that's going to hold together really, really well. Because rather than just relying on the egg and the cheese to hold it together, the actual strands of the spaghetti squash are going to stay together. So the other thing I think this might work really well for as a result is a pizza crust, which I've done a couple of times as well with cauliflower. I think the spaghetti squash would work even better for that. So uh, I may have to pick up a couple of more and give that a shot as well. But in the meantime, we're going to pop these into my oven. Uh, it's at 375. I'm using convection because I've got three baking sheets going at the same time. And it should be done in about 25 minutes. So I've just pulled them out of the oven and they went 25 minutes and one of them got a little bit dark, but even so, they're quite flexible. So we're gonna let these finish cooling all the way and then we're gonna wrap some tacos. So there's my wrap put together. You can see just how pliable these are. Just like my cauliflower ones, they turned out really, really good. The spaghetti squash is extremely neutral and I'd say it's even more neutral than the cauliflower. And this is a fantastic option if cauliflower is too expensive or it's just not something you enjoy. So there you go. There's a wrap made out of spaghetti squash. Hope you guys enjoy.